Hello. I'm on. You said what? I said I'd be confused. I'm just saying all these, all these wannabe it's people, hurting. wannabe mm -hmm. this. Wannabe. Come September the truth coming out. That's all I will say. These <laughs> everybody celebrities, but everybody big. Right. Sit on live every day begging for this, begging for that. Just do it too much. <sighs> let's see what this that's, why, that's why I don't that's why I don't claim that title as if I'm a celebrity or whatever the case might be. Cause bitch, I don't got it all. Sounds good. <laughs> And then What's going a on? celebrity, a celebrity got it all. Right. And I'm just sick of me and every day. This I, drunk it, ass person on the live impersonating a motherfucking officer. <laughs> bitch, it's serious. It's serious. Bitch ass it's serious bitch ass ass <laughs> do better, bitch. Decided, shut your bitch ass. Y'all hosting these motherfucking badges and Decided, shut your ass up, right, girl. Nah, bitch, you shut see that motherfucking ass ass ass. article? This shit is real out here. Y'all hosting need to put these badges up if you ain't motherfucking. <laughs> Government for real, yeah. And look at you over there, look like a big head. You're strong, and at the end of the day, you know, I'm still living my life. At the end of the day, I'm staying positive. Listen, listen, listen. I, I go through hard shit every fucking day and I have to deal with the shit. No, I don't I ain't find out one person who is gonna yeah, shit at like accept me for who I am. I have to deal with all these bullshit. Like, okay. not one time. Not okay. one time niggas give a fuck about me. Listen, you look happy, so you can't look for nobody else. I, I am too, no, I'm try, I am not happy. I'm okay, not. but mind you, I still don't like you so just just take in my own. Um, I don't care. Like Miss Honey, I like you. I don't know. Like you don't have to. Take in. Just take in. I'm never. Hear me out. I'm not live off of you. No, okay. Let her say what she's going to say. Then you say, you know what I'm saying? Let's see. Let's see. Uh huh. Okay, what I'm trying to say is all these impersonating officers, I'm not saying you are, but it's 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 starting to be real out here. So, like, motherfuckers that we all know. I'm not saying nobody knows because that's not my team. But, you know, it's just serious. Y'all have to stop doing it. And I don't think you're obviously a big swell man. You know, I just don't think you are. And my problem with you is you messy. You messy about the other person and the other person. And you should have just been a part of the cast if you was going to be this messy. But... Well, no. King, 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 you can put me in as, as a cast member. I'm down for it. Like, girl, you want to bang with me so bad, girl, I can whoop your ass. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not banging with yeah, you. At I'm the end of the day, I'll do it. At the end of the day, you want to have you are motherfucking. Uh -uh. Listen, this one, I'm not banging listen. with you. You better shut up. Listen, listen. I'm not listening to you because I'm not banging with you. I don't want to hear that argument. I don't want to hear that argument. Okay, I don't care about you. I don't care about you. Now that it's shit scares me. Yeah. At the end of the it's day, it's you wanted to have beef with me for no fucking reason. I told you I'm not with that. Not so since you want to have beef with me, you can not. have you can you can keep the not grudge. Not you is keep not. Grudge not keep the not grudge you is not. Don't not bring beef. it up over here. I have okay? this a free world. I cannot like you and don't okay. have beef with you. Like I said, I paid it. I'm gonna be done with you. You can say what the fuck you want to say. At the oh end of the day, I paid you dust. You ain't nothing. You're not nothing. At the end of the day, I said the fuck up. I, I, I'm gonna say this, you know, the reunion coming right around the corner. I'm really want to see what people gonna do. Yeah. That's all I want to see, because at the end of the day, people get on here, they begging for this, they begging for that, they talking about the network, then they say good right. stuff, the then they say bad stuff about the network. I don't kiss nobody ass, and I'm sick of it. I'm, I'm, sick. Sure. I'm, I'm tired of doing the same thing. I'm tired of doing the same I, shit. I'm, and all these and, and rapping the weird chat, shit people be saying, and it's like I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired. In the group chat, the first. First thing I said before I brought everybody down here, I said, um, "What did I say? I said, I said something like, I said, um, I'm bringing people who have. You said what? I'm bringing trimology. Trimology. It's a, it's a it's a network, like uh, um, but uh, Rashid, it's a network. But that I you're said, doing. I, I said, I'm, people I said are not appreciative. People are not appreciative, uh, uh, Rashid. 
you do it you produce your network and people are not appreciated you took your time you produce a show that you're putting your hard work money for everybody you also hire security to do their part to do that show yeah we came up there we wasn't doing our part but at the same time like i said you know it's the first time we all do a production. it's the first time we all doing some production show but at the same time you know you did it you told us how this is supposed to be you know it, and you know everybody was just you know doing their thing it's like you know everything was this and you know like i told everybody and that's what i told the cast members you know what i'm saying when i said what i said to everybody because i meant what i said at the end of the day i put my hard work money it 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 took me two years to do it yeah i mean some of it take 30 days it may take six months i mean it's kind of hard to take six months because it takes a time for the app to be developed but at the end of the day, you know, I put my money towards it and I'm like, look here, let's produce something good. Like, I'm telling everybody, like, let's do this. Like, bro, I studied this shit, bro. I went to school. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that school had anything to do with this because it didn't. I went to school with something totally different. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is I'm telling y'all, like, look, let's do this shit. <laughs> it's all cast members in the reunion call. If they want to put me in the hot seat, and I'll be honest, it's only a couple of my cast members that I think that I will bring back for season two who really did. Who really, who did they pick? Who would you who would well, who would you bring back? At the I I I'll tell everybody at the reunion. <laughs> Wait, so um, say how would what? you how would you describe your experience from day one as being security on the show? So my experience on the well, for my experience on the show with like being uh, a security for y'all on the show, uh, I have you know came up you know like I dealt with some you know people who you know that were intermediate. I, I've been with people who done the shows before, like you know, and like I said, King King brought his own money onto the show. He brought people to you know. To, he he knows people and he you know like I said King does research on people, King does like lots Ooh. of research on people you know and you know when he brings people when he does Shut research up. and he brings people onto the show, look when he brings people onto the show that means the people are that that he's bringing on the show is supposed to be doing their part. So as he you know as he bringing people on the show and let them do their part, you're supposed to you know do you're supposed to do your shit. You know, as a cast member, you're supposed to produce what people want to see on the show. That means in like fights, that means arguments, that means, you know, going doing your good seeds, you're doing your shit, you know, you having a great time, you are partying, you're doing whatever you want to do. Like as a cast member, that's I I, I like I said, my first time doing it with y'all when my when I was there, oh I had fun. I had fun, I did. And I also like, you know, and did like and and like how you said, enlighten a lot of other stuff that y'all been doing too, as in fights, arguments, how to break in, you know. And like I said, I didn't know none of y'all. I don't know none of y'all. But y'all was doing y'all shit at the same time. But I think y'all could do better. Y'all could have done better as a group to come up with stuff to enlighten as a group to do like whatever it is to get the the cast members happy and thrilled about the show. Y'all you know? had y'all had way too many meetings since the time that I was there. So I imagine how many y'all. But, but the so meetings, the meeting, but the meetings. I was not. I, 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 I'm gonna say this too, um, Rashid. The meetings that I was in, like I wasn't really, like I wasn't even. And, you know, I wasn't even mentioned like into certain meetings because me the most of the meetings were like it, it was a get a gathering it was a get to gathering it was just like you know hey here we go we bring somebody here to you know do this this is what we about to do here we go well, you know I, but we're gonna go play it my, my thing is this like i told y'all so much shit that was going on in that house and that's why i said hey, people really need to tune into this show because it's so much sneaky shit that's going on in this house when i'm right. going to sleep i can't trust nobody they're like okay bitch like what's the issue what's the tea I need to have a meeting because I'm like it's too much shady stuff. On. I mean, and that's why I see. But you know, also I when you, they, but when you when you bring in when you bring in other people like also, and I think the, the, here's the big the big issue, like and Rashi, you know, I know you for a minute. You know, I know you you're good people, but I think this is what you know, and I, I kind of get from their point standpoints from what I've done. 
when you bring in other people from like like okay here you go so when you're like a cast member on a regular show you're you bring in original people who's supposed to be on a cast show and like you know and you're bringing new people that no one knows about they probably heard they know they're probably at their side probably a couple few people know on their side but you're bringing other people in that they don't know about and they get in the squabble with you know new members on the show okay but like, man, and, you gotta be direct so what's no, 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 no. I'm not being look, because, listen. No, because I'm not, listen, no, 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 no. No, listen. This is wait, before you say mm -hmm. I'm not gonna cut you out. I'm gonna just say this one little small thing. Before before I say what I gotta say. Well, I'm gonna say this. I'm I was a late comer on the show too. So that's why right. I you are. You. I, I, that's I, why I, I, I wasn't speaking you. about that's you. you. I need to hear some names, boo. So no, no, no. I know you wasn't. No, you wasn't. You wasn't the one we were talking about. And I was saying I, I forgot who it was, but you wasn't the one I was mentioning because we heard about you. You were supposed to be coming on the show. You was you was just late and you had to have the time. We didn't know what what was going on with your situation because you had jobs. So like um like I said, <laughs> like, huh? I don't even know the job. But. <laughs> but like you know, it's just like I just feel like. Um, like it was just so said, a lot of commotion. Feel like, feel like you wish you could have done better. Is that what you're saying? It, it would, yeah. I wish it would have done better. Like it, it could have been run right. a lot better. Still ain't saying no names. I don't remember the name. I told yeah. you it wasn't you. No, I know that. If it was I still you. want to know. If it was you, you, know, you. Know, <laughs> I mean, you said. You messy as fuck. Didn't you just say I'm messy too? I did. I just you want to hear the name. <laughs> That's uh, Yo, look. <laughs> look, y'all messy as hell. Look, I don't do this shit. Look, I don't. But at the same time, if ugly person would have been. <laughs> uh, well, 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 I, I, I do respect you for that. You know, speaking good of me and saying why they do. But like I said, it was just so much wishy washy shit. And then people telling me it was security messing with the cast. I'm just like, oh, like, see how none of this. Is. Okay, not too much, Kenny. Not too I mean, much. I, All right. I, 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 okay, Ken, I'll why is he up here? I'll, I'll, I'll speak. Shut your ass up, nappy head girl. Anyways, like I said, um, I'll be the one, <laughs> I'll be the one that said I was okay, messing with some cast members. I did. I was. I'll be the one that yes, said I was totally messing with Cast members, I was. Right, but can you, Tess, can but you do I, me a favor, but, Tess, please? Hold on, hold on, Can Abby, you lick your on. lips before you keep no, talking? Because they look like they about to crack. Lick your, lick your edges. Lick your edges. Oh, I'm sorry. She hasn't finished that yet. I'm sorry. But, um, King, but, like, you know, <laughs> coming forth, like, coming up north, I'm not, like, I'm coming not, forward. I'm not going to address, I'm not going to tell y'all who I'm coming back, who I'm bringing back to the reunion. You guys need to download the app. Oh, I know, because I downloaded the app. <laughs> Period. Download the app, you will know more stuff. That's all I'm going to say. But, uh, I mean, it is what it is. Like I said, I went to sleep on certain times. I didn't know, but, you know, everybody come on the internet doing this. I, I really want to see what this reunion is going to get. So, I do want to say, Thanks, I do want to say, so, King, am I coming back to show? Hell no. Well, I'm just, I can't I'll I'm, answer that for you. I, Hell to the no. Until we get going. No, Girl, you need to stay to the to that damn hair that you got. The no, too. it's gonna be one of the Jocelyn Cabaret. No, like, look, I don't. What's Sunday gonna give you? No, call. HR and she will let you know if you need to get it done. No more, no more homeless men on there. Let, let me tell y'all something. Let me stop playing. Let me stop playing. Let me tell y'all something. Child, there's a lot. I don't know if she's watching, but not. But King, uh, can you do us a favor? Can you my, get some more internet? My internet bad. Oh, is my internet bad? Mm -hmm. you and it's glitching. Glitching. I'll tell you right there. On oh, my end, it's clear. Oh, I'm glad you dropped him. Um, Bunny, I thought we was cool, but guess I'm what? Not, am I clear now? You gone. I'm going to give her a chance. No, I didn't. <laughs> but yeah, Shonda is a lot different. Uh, <laughs> she's so crazy. Uh, yes, yeah, Shonda is a lot different to me. So, 
Child, I don't know. She but, will give. She will be giving him a call on the future on um, the back appointment. <laughs> on the back on the oh, hello. Oh, the back. oh, oh God, God, he's so scary. Told me that I, I don't have nothing to do with that anymore. So it's a different process. That one, it's just like a lot, a lot of people are dealing with. But it's, hopefully, it's different. But uh, they come from breaking contracts. Oh, I'm about to swipe out again. She look at all these. So. Yeah. And she can always be watching. You never know. Like, that's what I try to tell people. They come up there and they sit up here, they bash each other, talk, talk about each other. And it's like, you know, it is what it is. I don't know. But the cast, some of this cast, I don't, I really want to see what it's going to be like. That's what I want to know. I want to see what the reunion is going to be. Well, I know what it's not giving. What it's not. Something that's her Man with Prince. <laughs> Oh, okay. he, he don't got he don't got that. Girl, Girl, what? Girl. Says, says, are you been doing steroids? What? Hey, she been doing steroids. Mm-hmm. What you say? Are you trying to put down? I can't hear you. I said, come back in, okay? Okay, um, let me drop. Get in there. Um, Rashid, I don't even see your network on the thing. Uh, like, I, I don't know if it's done showing on uh, Android. I don't know. No, it's not. I don't see it. Is it out on for the Android ones? Like, what's going on? Well, I know. Them too. You should have dropped one. Of you said he should have did what? He should have dropped one of y'all before. Abby. Bitch, we've been up here before you hold. You can drop. Yeah, I mean, for before real. Before you came up here, we was already up here. We was already up here before you came up here. Bitch, I was up here from Like I said, we was already up here before you came up here. Not too much, Tez, man. You might say not too much, but you're doing too much. Like, not too much. Like, I might be a little tipsy, but you're doing too much. I'm going to and I'm going to read it. Read me, girl. Do what you want to do. Do what you have to do. All space and opportunity. All space and opportunity here. Back to you, Dazani. <laughs> Why you back? Like, yeah. like I said, you don't drop Abby. Bitch, well, both y'all can drop. So, and Bye. This, I didn't Bye. Know you had to drop, but so why you I hit the keep on my name out. I'm just. <laughs> oh, yeah. so what have you? Judge is messy. Judge is messy. Judge is messy. Judge is messy. <laughs> Judge, you're the messy, was Y'all have never had this 600 if I was here. Block it. Go. Yeah, 600. Was <laughs> Judge. <laughs> okay. Let's, well, we let's got 644. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is let's you know, 600. 600, guys. Hey, Judge, it just what? dropped the 900, B. Right. Hey, 300 at that. 900 views. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Judge. Yeah, thank you, Judge, for directing me. Yeah. I'm the, when I, the vibes, I Girl, want, the views is up. Boo. I want to know this. I'm decided. Huh? I want to know this. Do, do y'all, so what y'all think about it? So y'all think it's a good show or what y'all think? What? what? You talking about the, right the baddest of Georgia? You talking yeah. about the baddest of Georgia? What y'all think about it? It's, yeah. It's a good show. I really, I like the show. I mean, like I said, I like the show, you know. I just feel like, you know, um, next time, everybody need to be doing that shit. Like, Anybody I know for, what's that, what, what's that, uh, no, um, what's that uh, fraternizing with cast members? That's got to be stopped. Like, oh, I don't know. No, I, no, was doing man, that. No. I was doing that. I was doing that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, be truthful. I was doing that, and I was. I was dead wrong. I should have been sticking to my job, and uh, that's being security. You know? I'm, I'm just being that. I'm just doing that. But at the same time, like, I think it's changing and become a better Hold person. Uh, Tess, drop that right quick. I'm going to bring you right back. I know. Bring you the bomb of the show yet? Bailey. What you say, Jay? Bailey. Anybody heard from the bomb of the show yet? Who the bomb of the show? Can't. <laughs> <laughs> Child. Let me uh, uh, add Bailey. Bailey. Oh my God, George is so messy. <laughs> no, I'm home. What's up, Bailey? How you doing? 
Hi. Oh, can y'all see me? Yes. What you up to? Okay, hey, sweet lambs and gentle giants. That's, I'm just that's glad. Toy gentle today. <laughs> sweet lambs and gentle giants. What is that? Oh, my name is just, uh, just, uh, <laughs> Oh, my God, Jake. <laughs> Well, you have great imagination. I My name that. is just. Come on, y'all. All so I got here is the crickets in the back. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. What's your Wonderful name? to make an acquaintance. What's your name? My name is Armani. Like the designer, but better. Okay, that's. And I'm sorry. Repeat your name for me again. Judge Scott. Judge Scott. It's Matt, it's Babetta. Oh, okay. To be virgin. Hmm? You said Judge Matt is right. No, no I say <laughs> Babetta. Oh, okay. But, um, anyway, you guys, this is Bailey. Bailey, this is Judge. <clears throat> Hey yeah, Bailey. Hi. We gotta uh, we gotta bring Bailey over to the network, Bailey. Uh you might we're calling him a celebrity chef. He 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 doing this thing on TikTok. <laughs> judge, you know, Judge, he has a uh uh platform too. Um so you know, maybe y'all can do something together. You know, I'm big about collabing people together. What you cook? What you know how to cook? Oh, uh, we specialize in many cuisines, but our niche is taking soul food and making it gourmet. Oh, okay, could I see some of your work? Please? You can. You can go straight to my page, or you can follow me at Fat Boys Kitchen LA. That's F A T B O Y Z Kitchen LA. www.fatboyskitchenla.com, and or Google me by the name Armani L Bailey. You know that food gonna be good. It's a like Fat Boy Kitchen. Boy. Yes. Yeah. So get a squeeze your tire and do your right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because I need some help. The yeah. people on the live want to see the, uh, some of your dishes. You can't show us a picture. Like, sure. But as I said before, you can always go to my page. Uh, let's see here. Never works for y'all. I'm not even trying to bring no old stuff up, y'all. But this kind of made me think about when uh, when I used to have a bigger platform and I used to go live back in the day and uh, I used to bring people around. And I, one time when I first introduced Tommy and Tyra to each other, y'all two is funny. I can't. Why do people do stuff like that? I don't understand. Oh. I should have introduced y'all versus y'all like coming on like that, you know? Oh yes, mm -hmm. I'm the judge of the all judges. I run the Instagram streets. I run all the kitchens, all the top. <laughs> Do what you can. Oh, do what you can. Did I have somebody on the side of you, Armani? Say Excuse me. Did I have somebody on the side of you say something? Judge, mm -hmm. bitch, don't get it to me, ho. Oh. Don't get it to me, bitch. <laughs> this is anyway. Because you don't run the fuck thing. That's on Instagram. Like, that's so okay. these are some of our things. So oh, right, that really look really good. We have soul like food really cupcakes. So, so could you tell me about that? Yeah. Yes. So this is just a play on your average everyday cupcake that many of you all like. Ooh, my apologies. Um, I'm not really into sweets, but I do love the. I'm really big into food artistry and presentation. Um, so the bottom, the actual cupcake, that is a country cornbread dressing with the loaded mm -hmm. mashed potato as the icing, mm -hmm. and then that is fried turkey tips as, like, the topper. And also, this, hold on. Oh, so what is, may like, okay. Okay, hold on. What, explain that one more time. I'm sorry. Not a problem. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. There we go. So you have right here at the bottom, that is country cornbread dressing. It is a play on on actual cupcakes, but it's a soul food cupcake. Right here, you have mashed potatoes. It's actually loaded mash as the icing, and then you have a fried turkey tip as the topper. That really neat. I appreciate that you. So neat. That didn't go viral. Uh, 
Uh, the recipe did go viral, um, but maybe not the photo. But it, I mean, it don't matter. So did they have food taste? Uh, was like a soul food taste. Definitely soul food taste. Mm -hmm. That's, did you taste it yourself? Uh, no. <laughs> um, a lot of times when I'm in the kitchen cooking, by the time I'm done, I'm not hungry, so I just have other food testers. Oh, well, yeah. like I think fumes and smells and stuff make you full. Yeah. So you made a recipe book already? I'm actually in the process of writing a book. It's actually going to be, um, oh, excuse me, a devotional cookbook where you get fed two ways. So you have a devotional on the left, and then you have a cook the recipe on the right. Yeah, and then we're going to also have... Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm gonna bring you. I want to start my cooking show because I've been cooking on live, but I'm not a chef or nothing. That's but okay. I know how to cook. But as long as I can feed you, man, so you need to be very respectful next time. What'd you say? He's a godly man. Be respectful next time. I am respectful. You know, I was playing with you, right? Yeah, it's no hard feelings. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We Bring him over to the network because we need him to start cooking some things up for us. Oh, that's the that's really neat part is the presentation, the idea. I love it all. Yes. Um, I'm here so, for it. Bailey, when I'm going to try chicken? You're supposed yeah. to have the emotion. You said what now? I said, when I'm going to try a chicken, I need to try some ASAP. What, uh, what city are you in again? Atlanta. Oh, I don't frequent Georgia at all. <laughs> Uh, don't, don't do frequent, as I did. I don't frequent Georgia. <laughs> Where are you located? When, when there's an intersection somewhere. Oh yeah. No, I'm. Uh, I well, originally I was based out of Louisiana, but I I travel as well, and I travel as far as your dollar will go. Whoever's watching, I travel as far as your dollar will go. Georgia. Oh, so you? Uh, I'm between Houston and Louisiana. Oh, I live in Houston. Oh, that's good. So we gotta hook up absolutely but i live in houston i'm in georgia now back at home business okay well i won't be we won't be no intersection there that right is georgia. but i live in is where i live okay georgia. okay that's good yeah i'll probably be going home what's today monday they probably wednesday or thursday so, maybe get my phone. so drop lit emojis in the comments if you if you guys would like to see bailey have his own channel on the next or have him come cook us some food. Really good. Drop lit emojis. Oh, y'all doing fires. Okay. Well, hold we on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. She said, have him come cook us some food. Who said you was going to be on next season, boo? Bitch, if I want to be on next season, bitch, I can audition. Bitch, I ain't even got an audition. Bitch, stop <laughs> down me, how? Oh, so funny. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. I see him coming in. And they definitely, Somebody do y'all think Dazani is going to be on next season? I heard from the blogs that she will not be. <laughs> y'all, and you guys, let's let's keep the app race scores up high too because I know they're up still, but let's keep them up high because you never know. Have his own show, he great. Yep, he don't he not cooking for no in the kitchen. He could do on his own show. And he can come make some money on our show. Abby, bye bye, block you from this live. You won't. I will. You blocked her and you will be off of this panel. Bitch, fuck you all. You don't run the fuck thing, bitch. You, I don't know why you, know, you run uh, you you don't run right the show because I can block you, you right now. Right, you go right where your I can block you right is. now and you'll be off. You go where your bum bitch, brother is. You at the bottom. You said, well, who is? I said you go you go back to the streets where your bum brother King goes. Bitch, that hoe can't put me in the streets. No shade. Cause ain't that your brother? No. no. And stop talking about that boy. Well, he been talking about me on live for the last couple of days. Well, we not talking about him. Well, I am. We don't want to hear about him. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna tell y'all something too because y'all you know you guys we got plenty of shows that'll be on the network so never judge by one show we got plenty of shows that's on the network so you know you come get a feel for it once you download that app and you'll see different shows on we want to podcast we want movies we want it all I think I think the cooking show would be good for Armani mm -hmm. yeah I, he definitely do his thing I've been looking at this one. it's really good we can't hear Maybe since I'm sorry, I was replying to a comment. I'm sorry. I'm listening to you though. 
maybe since uh, since they're my DMs or maybe I can have Armani cook Shamar a, a meal and something like okay. that. Okay, bye. Hey, ready. Ball head, ball head, um, baddie, you can't tell him not the link and my spirit well, and this. They thing. already told him. You don't, you don't know anything about me. Just because I carry myself like this doesn't mean anything. I bring in 12 figures, something that you would never see. Hmm. You won't even see six figures in a comment. Less more, 12 figures. <sighs> so don't play with <sighs> <laughs> now, now, and and back to you, um, designing. <laughs> no, you, oh, you need me to fuck a lot. I didn't say nothing. You want to read and point out? Um, I didn't say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because that community, you the one read it first. No, I heard with when you said the name. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> me yeah let's ask let's ask each other two questions let's do a game on on here i've been live in about a week let's play a game who want to start it off let's just ask each other questions or whatever or really okay, i'll I start it off yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. go ahead okay my first question is gonna go to you judge why do you think it's okay to sit and troll people on instagram all day Never gave troll. <laughs> Always gave celebrity star. Okay, if I wanted to right now, I can't even go to Walmart right now in peace without the people. Judge, 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 judge. Okay, period. Yeah. Celebrity. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, Rasheed. Like Bitch, what you say, Hawk? Nate. Rasheed. No, one more question for you now, Ho. Bitch, why you got all all this energy on social media and you don't have it in person. You can ask my attorney. <laughs> I'm done speaking to you. Okay. Next, say, I'm, I'm ready to I'm, I'm ready to move on. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Who next? Go ahead. Who next? Okay. You ask everybody a question. Hold on, hold on. Let's let's clear yeah. this. Yeah, so what is it? Each person asks one question to the whole yeah. panel. Everybody, let's do that. Let's do it. I feel, let's yeah, because they kind of got off top by basic B. But go ahead. Bye, yeah, baby. Bye. Oh, look. Now, now look how they talking. Look. Okay, so the Sunday asked somebody. Now, the Sunday, you got to ask Bailey and you got to ask me something. Yeah, let's do it like that. I got to ask all y'all two questions. Yeah, yeah, let's do something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, Bailey, how long have you been cooking? Uh, professionally, about six years. Okay. Um, since you started your business, have can, can you? I mean, since you started your business. Can you? Say you, you wait, judge, don't do that whole five swing on you. Cause I got a question for him. But go ahead. Okay. Since you started your business, can you say your business have grown since, like, since you started it? Absolutely. It was, it was never intended to even be what it is today. And so to see where it has flourished, only to know that this is a piece of the journey, not the complete Amen. part of that it. Upstairs, God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, can, I can absolutely say without regret or neglect that I have gone many places and still have many places to go. Okay. Here we go. Um, okay, Rasheed. Um, Rasheed, since, since, um, since starting this whole TV journey, what have you learned from just by filming your first show? Oh, people are not who they say they are in so many ways. Um, it can be how, even from the looks, from the personalities, and from how they carry themselves. Yeah, I think that'd be number one. Um, okay, another question. What do you wish you could have done differently while filming your first show? Uh, probably listen to my HR Shonda. Always, like, you know, pretty much been on this journey with me from even when I said I wanted to do it. Uh, probably just listen to her a little bit more because, you know, I kind of thought, like, oh, let's do it this way. But deep down inside, some of the things that she was telling me, 
it kind of came back on me. Like maybe I should have just slowed it down just a little bit, you know, instead of like trying to rush something out real fast. Okay. Now who next? Me. So I have a question for Zani. <laughs> um, have okay. You, you transitioning and um, do you regret it? I'm not gonna ask you, ask you a shady question like you, but go ahead. Um. Okay, so I've been transitioning since September seventh, September seventh, twenty twenty two. You look really um, good. just be starting. Thank you. I can say I don't regret it because, you know, I I feel like I I, I had my time as a, you know a boy or whatever like that. So now I'm learning my new body. I feel good. Um, I'm very confident in myself, and I just you know. I'm good. Um, Amarni. Um, how could I say this? Okay, in the cooking industry, who is who who inspired who inspired who are who are you inspired by? You don't have no one. <laughs> no, I I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that I'm not an inspired by anyone. I think. Um, it, it really depends because someone's serving you something that is aesthetically pleasing versus something that is appealing to your appetite is two totally different things. And the place and the things that I tend to hone in, hone in, excuse me, is more so on experience. And people don't provide an experience that I give people, so I don't want, I don't really have anyone to inspire me necessarily in that way. Um, but I mean, there are plenty of people. One of the uh. Chef Tam, which is a a black young lady, she has now I think about like five or six restaurants. She was on the Food Network. Um, Tam on the gram, I think is her name or something on on Instagram. Um, and she's one of my biggest inspirations. I I actually view her not just as inspiration, but as a mentor, having a personal relationship with her. So I would definitely have to start with her. Um, my other mentor, Mariko. Um, he's not, you know, like publicly. You know, he's local, but still, his influence in my life is is a big deal. Hmm. That's really good. Um, the reason I'm saying, because, well, I'm going to say also, you know how you, okay, so I and I got a cake from somebody before, mm -hmm. and it was phenomenal, gorgeous, paid a good bit, but the cake, the cake didn't taste like shit. But I had a um cake that fell over falling in ugly cake yeah. and that that's cake it'll get you right um and that's just like i mean that's what honestly you could think of it just like people the presentation can be there but the personality is not i like you you say a ballad somebody brought a bad hey jacobs hey jenna john that you made a valid point. So, Rasheed, my question for you is, what is one network that you look up to besides Zeus, besides now that TV? Uh, I'm glad <laughs> that's a good question that you asked. Um, is a, that a common person that starting that you probably see the network and like, oh, I can see them growing. What I mean, truthfully, I can't really say because the two people that inspired me the most is Netflix and um, the reason why is because that's the level that I'm trying to get onto. Then I'm always trying to ask that that um, surface of what they're on. Mm -hmm. um, at, at Zeus as a black owned business who who really did a good job. Um, although you know Dad was already in the industry, you know I said it made it him a little easier for him. But his rock is a lot different from mine. You know what I'm saying? Because you guys know that I, I like beat, you know, um, homelessness and all of that stuff. You know, I'm the oldest of 15. So, you know, my journey has been a lot different. So, you know, it took me two years. But, you know, I don't know how long it took him. Um, as far as Netflix, um, I like Netflix because it, they put a variety of different things. But, you know, I look at how Netflix do. I look at how Zeus do. And I'm trying to bring in shows and different things that they don't have. Um, so who really inspired me the most would be uh, Netflix and Zeus. I can't really say no upcoming shows, although because like it's it's so different. And you know nowadays I'm trying to say it's, it's so many networks out here now, but 
you got to really get into that right one. And so far, that inspires me is Netflix. Okay. Uh, Mindy, you want to go? I'm on. I, I'm sorry. I was reading. I thought the comment was referring to me. I'm what what, sure. what they say, Judge? Uh, they better see. Um, it was as you know. I really mind my mama's boss by indoor. My dad is gal, so I'm not really that of an inquisitive person. Um, <laughs> it's <either. laughs> anyway, yo, it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, um, what is the so um how okay mm. uh, um, uh, let me make sure I got the names right first. Go so we got Rushi. We have Judge Bam. <laughs> That's right, Judge Bam. Right? No. <laughs> then why they saying Judge Bam in the comments? No, they did Bam. Somebody I know oh, seen you. Oh, Judge did Bam. Ooh, yeah. So Judge. judge. Right. Okay, Judge, and then Dasani. Yeah. Okay. Like, um, like the so, what, Judge? Like the water, the sun. The sun. I was just ready to ask you how did is, um, I don't know if that is. She um, used to love the water, that, and it was like pretty and clear, and she be like that. So. Like, <laughs> no, I'm not being funny, dear. Before, before you start, I'm like, I hope this is not one of your questions, but I just want to put this out here. I'm looking at everybody that's on this side over here. Everybody, oh, yeah. can, can y'all hear me? You gotta let him. I'm ask his questions, but go ahead. I just want to I just wanted to recognize this right here. This is definitely for the people. Because a lot of people don't realize like one of the reasons why I really want to start now. I wanted to put different people in the same room with each other on different levels, different platforms. If you look at guys' platforms, y'all whole platforms is different. Like we may be all black, but we're so different in, in our ways. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just looking at this live and I look at the other lives that I do and try to bring people to the network. I'm looking at talent, I'm looking at different and personalities I'm looking at different people trying to be in a room with each other you know what i'm saying so like y'all could everybody's on the network you know what i'm saying bailey's not on the network just yet but we're gonna try to get him over with us you know what i'm saying so we're bringing the cooking show we're bringing a judge show we're bringing you know reality from the sun you know what i'm saying like it's different things and then we have our award ceremonies each year like everybody's gonna all types of talents is gonna be in a room together winning awards black hispanic gay damn bisexual trans like all of that so that's what really, really inspires me the most to um, do a network. But I just want to put that out there. I'm just looking at the talent right now that I see on this platform. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yes. So I, the sign I wanted to ask, I wanted to ask, um, I think, just to be, to be clear, is that like your, your stage name or your presence name or that like your actual name that you prefer to be like addressed by? And then if so, how did that name come about? Okay, so um, that name came about, about, so I was in the room with my mom one day or whatever I did, and we were just discussing names or whatever, because I had told her that I, I, you know, I was ready to transition. She knew I had been wanting to do it, but, you know, at the time, I just couldn't, you know, and then I didn't want to just be the one that just start wearing wigs and this, 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 and that, you know, without being on her mom, whatever the case might have been, so... I waited until I turned 21, but me and my mom, we been had discussed this this name like when I was 17, 18, or whatever like that. So when she like finally went out, like my mom stopped talking like functional in 2021, at the end of 2021. So when she went out, it was just like, that was the only person that was, you know, stopping me from doing what I was doing or whatever like that. So I just took up the name that me and her discussed. I was like, Mom, if I ever wanted to do it, I want to be named the Sunday because my mama always used to drink the Sunday. Like, everybody say it's cheap water, whatever the case might be, but that's what the fuck my mama drunk. So it's, uh, I like the So it, it's sentimental to you, and that's okay. So that's what she always used to drink, or whatever the case might be. And Are your mama passed this, honey? Yeah, she passed away. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. But that's where the name came from or whatever. And we made our own little meaning to it. And the meaning that we made to it was she's fearfully and wonderfully made. It don't mean water to me and my mama. 
you know. I, I was totally fine. That, that's well, your, that was a good you and your mama, though. Yeah, I told you I'm not I'm not inquisitive by any means. So I I choose my questions carefully because I'm not nosy. Like I I just don't I don't care enough, and I want to make sure that I don't offend other people. Right. Um. And so I basically that would be my same question to you, judges. How did that name come about? Is that a stage name or I don't want to say I don't know if stage name is the proper terminology or you know what have you. Oh. Came up with Judge. Okay, I had a good friend. We was friends for a while. We ended up getting into it. At the time, I don't remember when it was, but however, I was in law school at the time. We ended up getting into it. We was like really good friends. And he like a big, big influencer. So we got into it, and I just went on live, and I did like a docket on him. So it was crazy because I was already in law school. So it was kind of like, okay. So basically, from my hometown, they gave me that name. It was like, okay, Judge, when are we getting another docket? So they kind of pushed me into moving forward because it was so successful to I paid to get like a, a judge stand and everything built. Mm. Okay. So it was like once I got the name out there, I was stuck with it. Like everywhere I go, even my judge. So that's like your brand. My, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. I have one more question, right? For she Okay. Um ooh. I'm trying to figure out do I wanna ask a recent question or like a past question? Deep for head. Oh deep. What's <laughs> <laughs> um What is something that you would have, I'm assuming that you're going to be older. So what, I'm, you are, uh, what is something that you would tell your 17, you yeah. said what now? Are you assume I'm going to be older. Oh. Yeah, I was getting ready, I was getting ready to throw a number out there, but then I was like, you might, you might still be a little close to that number. What is something, um, don't tell me what to ask. What is something that you, you would tell <laughs> your 17 year old self? What would I tell my 17 year old self? <clears throat> mm. That's a really good question. What would what I tell my words of inspiration? I mean, you could, it could be anything. It could be a regret. It could I would, be. I, I would say, I would say, really just trust the process and don't rush it. I think that's honest because, at, you know, at my 17 uh, self, I was, uh, I had just stopped wrestling. Um, I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. Um, I wanted to be a police officer. I wanted to be a school teacher. I wanted to be a doctor. I wanted to do so many things I really didn't know. And you got to think, like, college is right around the corner. Um, I was lucky enough to um, still go to college, play a sport, um, but then I got in. But so my, I would tell my 17 year old self to just trust the process. Um, be real to yourself. I was down low at that time. I was down on a lot of things. Um, really didn't know what I wanted to do in life. I think trust the process and you know never give up. Because I think at those at that age range, you're easier to be influenced and you're easier um, to give up in life. So you definitely got to. I think that's what I say. I got a question for the entire panel. Who need to replace their batteries in this this uh, detector? <laughs> I'm long. It ain't me. It ain't. <laughs> what you said to y'all? Huh? And what did it do? Like the fire detector? The smoke detector? Oh, uh, not me. No, not me. No, okay. This is somebody. <laughs> but it's chirping hard. <laughs> it's real bad. Unless that, we it's got a mic. <laughs> no, it's not me. Is it you, Rasheed? Oh, I oh, got nothing going on. Oh, I just heard it again. Don't make us, don't make all of us have to mute each other. And then okay, see what it is. Do it one by one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna stay on mute. I'm first. Everybody else mute. Yes, that is right, lady. Mute your phone, It's on, I'm the only person that's supposed to be on mute.
<laughs> it's you. You might have, you don't know this because you're so used to hearing it. It's been sounding like a little seatbelt along this entire time. Oh hey, the study. Oh my gosh. The you know the fire department will come out and change it for free. They may make you pay. No. I thought you had to bring it to them. I didn't think you had. Oh, oh my God, y'all. Don't you just got. Don't you just got to change the battery? Oh, so yeah, you, yeah, you need to do that not, because that's dangerous. What if it's a fire? I'm, not, I'm not at my house, though. It, oh, was you I, the same correction? I didn't hear, hear it until you said something. Oh, no, but it. it's really been, no, it's, it's, I put my phone on it's me. It's been messing with my psyche this entire time. <laughs> it's the fact you tell us to mute it. You, I, but you muted, when I muted myself, I was like, nah, it better still go off because I know it ain't missing. Now, how we know it wasn't you, Armani, you know like, Baby, no, I gotta make sure I'm safe. I ain't gonna be having too much going on. All right. And I'm, I'm to my everybody mute their pawns, bitch. It's me the whole time. <laughs> I, I kind of figured it was one of y'all. I knew it wasn't me, and I'm not even home. Well, I knew it wasn't me because I'm right here. Well, I knew it wasn't me, but I forgot I went at home. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so is it my turn? It's my turn. Um, I guess my first question. Uh, I I swing it over to Judge. Um, Judge, growing up, did you know that you was gonna be as successful as you are? Um, I did. My family has always told me like, "Oh, you gonna be a millionaire? Are you gonna be this? You gonna be that?" It's like they always put that into me, and it's like my family business was Popeyes. Well, we own Popeye stores. Everybody in besides my nieces and nephews, but everybody like my siblings cousins everybody worked at the pop, one of the Popeye stores but me but I, it's not because I didn't want to I wanted to but they was like no so it's like they they just always knew more of like like what was going on? Like, like how could I put this like he the shit but not saying it like that okay uh, they knew that I'm gonna uh, my next question to you will be um and I Attached to that question, like, I started out, like, when I was, like, 14 or 15, I brought my own camera. I used to do photography. I used to make, like, $150, like, event, each event. And I would be doing, like, two or three events a week. So I was making good money at the age 15. I feel you. A lot of people don't make as much as you make right now. Um, my next thing is, what is it? What is it that you're really trying to do, like, to get to that next level? Um, I need to be consistent. That's the first thing first. Um, my hopes is to have my own judge TV show. Doing cases, I want to call it drama court, where people come in with their drama, like siblings who's arguing, maybe over their baby daddy. You know, stuff like that. Okay. I know where the sun is. I just brought the network page back in. Um, uh, my, my question to you is, <laughs> what, I don't think, no, it wasn't asked yet. What age were you when you actually first started cooking? Oh, I've been like, cooking not long. Not professional. Okay, yeah, yeah. you got to say, I, yeah, I'm, I, you know, I'm fat, so it really was just like, and I, my grandmother taught me a lot. So I was really raised by my grandma, um, and I was raised in, a, you know, in the south, but very much so in the country. So I want to say, like three years old. We're gonna go with that. Like three years old, I was definitely on the stoop, shucking, shucking peas. <laughs> oh. You say how old? Hmm. How old? I'm gonna say three. Damn. Uh, yeah. We're up in the kitchen. Absolutely. So when did you start taking food and turning it into like dessert like themes? Uh that probably happened sometime last year. Um I know I had some like an inspiration or something somewhere and I was just like, oh, okay. And I I didn't this was mediocre in my opinion mm -hmm. uh, and i just try to figure out what it is that i could do to elevate it 
Um, but that's been pretty much my thing since kind of like the beginning of starting my company. Right. Um, it's because sometimes people look at soul food. We, we, I think on, at a world view of soul food, sometimes people look at it as such an unhealthy thing, which it does not have to be. Um, or look at it as more like you only eat soul food because you are poor. Or that's just what black people could do to get by. Right. And they think of it as a low economic experience when it doesn't have to be that way. Um, and there are so many things a part of the black tradition and part of black culture and our ancestry that is revolved around soul food. I don't want to be the person that abandons it because society does not understand it. Right. All right. That was really good. Well, you guys, I really enjoyed this live. Um, it's not really much else. I mean, that I need to say really. Um, I want you guys really to stay tuned to the network. We got a lot of things kind of um, on the back end, you know. Yeah, it's, right. It's, it's, wait, I want to know how old it, how old you are, my nigga. Don't mind me asking. That's for me to know. You don't wonder. <laughs> okay, y'all trying to guess my age? You, you can't be. Y'all can't be that old. Our money, guess my age. You give me like twenty two. Really? Yeah. Nobody, no, nobody has told me that ever. What about me, Amani? Uh, maybe like thirty-two. Oh. Well, you said law school, so you know, I'm, I'm thinking, you gotta have put some, put a little bit of time in there. Mm -hmm. How old are you? Who asked that? You did already? No, I didn't. I asked how old. I, I, yeah. Okay, so most many people think I'm like twenty-eight sometimes. But yeah, I, but I know how you are. I know. Name. Let me see our money. Our money. How old you think I am? Just take a guess. I told you, twenty-two. Take another guess. <laughs> I, you, you can't be no. Maybe twenty-four. Maybe. Uh, I, it's so funny. No, I'm twenty-three years old. Oh, okay. yeah. You're maybe. right. Up. Nobody really guess. Everybody always guess. Maybe because you haven't really seen me in person. But. I got a very old soul. Well, I also knew what you, what you were, like what you looked like in high school, and it wasn't that long ago. So mm -hmm. I, I I knew of you before you were this. Right. So mm -hmm. that's why I was like, can't be too far off. <laughs> from there. Yep. That is true. Um, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm definitely going to slide you my number because, like I said, we got some stuff that we want to talk about and chat it up. I ain't going to want to say too much, but I definitely want to see you and i'm saying this live um you know people put this on youtube or whatever but i don't really care i do want to see you with the network i think you can bring us a different um twist to the network um as far as like your personality um cooks i mean we need that on a daily basis when doing things you know right. so just bring your personality just on film um i think you'll be really bigger access to the network and and i'm here to help you grow and I'm, I'm sure you help you know here to help us grow as well um so we conduct really good business um i do have a a good you know team behind me um we're in in the building but we definitely have a couple strong leaders on our team so i'm like the young cat young cat of it all but trust me i got some people that's behind me that's really really to like push out this network um so you know i really hope you're thinking about really coming on with us you know yeah we can definitely uh take some time to discuss it all okay all right thank you so much y'all no have, have a good night good night